Hi, this is Madison Damien, and I'll be talking about why I chose a flapper girl, um, my challenges, and also I'll be reading an entry for you. Um, so the main reason why I chose a flapper girl is because I felt like it really, she's so, that, that kind of character is so iconic you know, during the 1920s and onwards. Like, it's still so relevant today. And people, when you think of the 1920s, you think of a flapper girl and you think of how she dressed, how she acted, how she, you know, just broke all the stereotypes a typical woman had. And I felt, and I kind of felt that I could really relate to her in a way of like wanting to like not do what her parents want her to do and her want to like, just like not really like stick to the stereotypes of like what, her previous you know ancestors and previous women have like laid out for her you know with you know the straight dress the short hair the legs showing you know things like that and that's like a main reason why I chose her is because she defied you know the stereotypes and I chose this storyline and prompts just really just based on you know first I would I picked the prompts I wanted to do because you know if I wrote this entire thing and then I would have to pick things it would have been really really difficult so I picked I, so I picked you know certain journals like feminist and all of this and I revolved it around the year I chose and so you know for the first one I chose when um, the women's the voting women being able to vote you know in 1919 is it 1919 no it's 1920 um, in 1920 and when it was ratified and I chose you know are you a feminist it's like things like that that that's how I kind of I chose my journals and um and the storyline I just I wanted because you know no you can't just like show like a Disney like you know journals where like nothing bad happens like things are gonna you know even though alcohol was not allowed like people still drank so you know you know you show her going through a husband that's an alcoholic because of not being able to take care of the family. It's like just like things that you like most people, you know, might not be able to relate to in some point. But like being able to relate to like maybe not being in the best relationship, I feel like is like it. It happens to all of us. Like you've always been in you. Everyone is like can relate to being in like a really like bad relationship that you can't escape and or being in a, in a situation where you can't escape. And for her, that was dealing with the Great Depression while also dealing with an alcoholic husband. Um. I overcome like challenges like my computer sometimes failing or me feeling frustrated because I feel like I wasn't doing my best. I just overcome that by like being creative and thinking outside of the box or, you know, throwing in a little twist there or, you know, just, you know, you know, creative projects like this aren't very like hard for me. I actually really enjoy doing them. I like creating stories. I like doing all of these like creative things involving eras and I really do like history. So it like really helps. And I like English a lot too. Um, so it's not like this wasn't really a big challenge for me I felt like even though it was like long I feel like also like the length like sometimes I feel like I can stop right now but I need to keep going stuff like that um I really enjoyed this project um the reasons like why I enjoyed this because I really was able to really research a lot of things and I, I learned so much about like the era like the fashion you know their lifestyle because like you see like kind of a surface level sometimes but when you really look in depth because like you know there's when you learn it in class like you need to learn it kind of really quick but like I felt like I really dived in into those like the three eras like the 1920s the Great Depression and like the you know the end of the Great Depression and um into World War II um so I will be reading now a um it's my first I'll be reading um, a journal entry for, for you. Um, it's May 6, 1925. I've never been so angry in my life. My mom has cut my allowance due to my partying habits. I need a new Chanel dress, but she thinks that dresses are f the dresses are for women on the corners. My father won't even consider convincing her to give me money. The girls at the speakeasies will be disgusted if I don't have the newest in fashion. I know that I should be focused on what's going on in our country, but it's so easy to get distracted by my social life. So, after my father left for work this morning, I stole the morning newspaper from him and saw something about a teacher in Tennessee who taught evolution even though it was banned. In my opinion, the Bible is full of it. Ever since my brother died, I feel that I can't trust God or anything the Bible says. I understand why Scopes wants to teach evolution since I think there are, there are, 
since I think there are facts to back that up, I do tend to break the law as well when I think it's dumb, so, I mean, I can relate. I wonder what, what, what will happen, though, but I will try and keep up with the story. This could change everything. But in other news, tonight there will be a huge party for only rich people in all of Chicago, and I was invited. I still can't believe it. I hope there will be jazz music and some dancers to bring life to the party. I need to bring a, I need to buy a pack of cigarettes before I go, though. I'm almost completely out. I hope tonight will go well. Maybe I'll invite Georgia Ann. I think she will have a good time. Love always, Margaret. So I felt like that really was my best journal because I felt like I talked about her lifestyle and I also talked about something that was going on very relevant during during that year and it really fit <coughs> sorry it really fit um my prompt as well you know talking about her religion and like how it can relate to the biggest news and you know also her life you know it just really represents I feel like my relative relative tone of her life during that decade. Um, thank you.